ఇప్పుడు మనతో ఉన్నారని ఎస్థెటిక్ కన్సల్టెంట్ డాక్టర్ మిలీ సిన్హా సో యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ గురించి బోల్డ్ అని డౌట్స్ అడిగేద్దాం డాక్టర్ ని అసలు ఏ ఏజ్ నుంచి స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ఏ ఏజ్ వాళ్ళకి ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇస్తారు ఇక అదే విధంగా ట్రీట్మెంట్ కి ముందు ఎలా ఉండాలి ట్రీట్మెంట్ తర్వాత మెయింటెనెన్స్ ఎలా ఉండాలి ఇలాంటి బోల్డ్ అని క్వశ్చన్స్ కి డాక్టర్ గారు సమాధానం చెప్తారు హాయ్ అండి హాయ్ హవా యూ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ వెల్ హవ్ యూ యా ఫైన్ సో మిలీ యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఓకేనా సో ఏ ఏజ్ వాళ్ళు ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకోవచ్చు యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ సి యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ టిపికలీ యూ షుడ్ స్టార్ట్ వన్స్ యూర్ యూ నో ఇన్ యూర్ లేట్ ట్వంటీ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ది ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ఇస్ వెన్ యూ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ యూజింగ్ స్కిన్ కేర్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ దట్ హెల్ప్ యూ విత్ యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ప్రివెన్షన్ ఓకే అండ్ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు ఎస్థెటిక్ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ రైట్ పోస్ట్ థర్టీ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఏజ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఆఫ్ విత్ యాంటీ ఏజింగ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ ఇన్ అ క్లినిక్ ఏజ్ థర్టీ టు స్టార్ట్ అంటే ending is 60 or 70 oh so there is no ending to you know until when you want to take anti aging treatments like because aging is a continuous and a natural process right so if we want to uh, prevent aging signs we want to maintain our skin at a certain uh, age level then we need to keep doing some maintenance treatments till the time we want to do it after treatment precautions uh, whenever you get any anti aging treatment done so depending on the treatment that we are doing like if you are doing botox we are doing fillers thread lifts or any energy based devices then every treatment has its own precautions like you know you have to ensure that you protect your skin from the sun you ensure that you keep your skin much hydrated and moisturized also use some supplemental uh, oral uh, intake that you do for that products that can help you with anti aging anti aging treatment timing and i like uh, wrinkles and condi so uh, see so whenever we're talking about anti aging treatments so we can divide them into two segments right one is the corrective therapies and the other are preventive therapies right so when i say corrective therapies that is when you already have those aging signs and we want to remove them or you want to reduce them when we come to preventive treatments preventive treatments are that you start at a little earlier age and you prevent those signs from coming hmm. right so under ca- corrective treatments we have uh, botox we have dermal okay. fillers we have thread lifts then we also have uh, some microneedling treatments that can be done to correct preventive treatments are treatments like nowadays we have a lot of skin boosters we have exosome therapies we have gfcs we have mesotherapy uh, we also have energy based devices that can help in improving the signs plus as well as also reducing the signs over a long period of time okay. so depending on the treatment the duration of the treatment will last so like uh, say if you're talking about a bot- uh, botulinum toxin injection that is a lunch time procedure you can just okay. come get it done in 15 20 minutes and you're yes, off sir. to your daily routine activities similarly if you're talking about dermal fillers depending on where we are injecting what amount of fillers we are injecting the treatment also would uh, the duration of the treatment would be anywhere between say half an hour to one hour hmm. that's about it uh, thread lifts might also take a similar uh, time uh, when we're doing uh, so any procedure that we are doing okay. will not be for uh, anywhere longer than one to one and a half hours okay that's about it so sitting semi sitting stis ko wali yeah so there are single sitting treatments there are treatments that you have to take multiple sessions hmm. typically uh, uh, injectables they are mostly single sitting treatments that are repeated after a certain interval of time okay like botox is done every you know 3 uh, to 4 months time it is to be repeated dermal fillers are repeated anywhere between 1 to 1 and a half years uh, thread lifts are repeated every 6 months microneedling uh, usually needs to be done repetitive sessions for the initial few months and then you can do maintenance uh, energy based devices like uh, high food al therapy thermaj they are done typically once a year or once every 6 mm-hmm. months okay side effects emanu untaya so generally there are no long term side effects 
only immediate side effects can be there where you may have a little bit of redness or swelling okay. on the skin which will last you for a couple of hours mm. maybe up to 24 hours uh, there can be uh, pain at the injection site if it's an injectable procedure that also okay. is short term mm. uh, as such no sir, long term side effects uh, yeah so injection definitely it's an injection you will mm. have some amount of discomfort but it is mm. usually very less and minimal Plus, we also uh, generally use a topical anesthetic yeah. uh, before we do the procedure. So, it's uh, fairly comfortable. 20, 25. Okay, na? So, skin care wali, ella tisko wali. So, see, whenever you are in your uh, uh, 20s, right? Yes. So, that is the time when we want to enjoy life and all that. But uh, uh, coming to skin care, if you are taking good care of your skin in terms that sun protection, proper hydration, proper cleansing, in those terms, if you take good care of your skin in your 20s, then mm. definitely your aging signs can be fairly less when you're approaching 30 and plus age, right? So you must always have a good skincare routine, which is suitable to your skin type. You should be regular in terms of that. You should have a healthy lifestyle, healthy uh, food intake. Also, you must ensure that, you know, your uh, nourishment level is optimum. You know, avoid things like, you know, high uh, glycemic foods, yes. uh, avoid uh, alcohol, smoking, because these all are going to impact on the aging signs, right? So we must t uh, do everything in moderation and uh, try to limit, uh, you know, uh, going overboard with a lot of uh, 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 things like alcohol, smoking, uh, uh, junk food. So sleep disturbance and a sleep effect kuda untunda. Yes, yes, definitely. Sleep mm. also. See, our body uh, has a circadian rhythm. That means what? That depending on the time of the day, there are certain hormones that are released into the body, which direct our body towards a specific uh, thing that we have to do like uh, when we are uh, during the night there's secretion of melatonin now melatonin helps in having a proper sleep cycle. Mm. Now suppose your sleep cycle is disturbed. Even though there is melatonin uh, secretion and you don't sleep, that's going to impact your skin. Why? Because nighttime is meant to be repair of the skin yeah. or the entire body system. Now, if we are not sleeping, the secretion of the hormones is not taking place, right? So the repair is not going place. So you, you, when you uh, when you get up in the morning, you may feel your skin is very dull, looking mm. tired and dehydrated. So this happens. So that is why it's very important to you know have a very uh, good skincare routine. Not just that, but also a proper lifestyle management. Right. Super. So, and the mobiles effect allowed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mobiles, uh, yes. So, a uh, couple of uh, problems that we can face with mobiles, especially when you have a long hours of usage, right? So, first is, you know, uh, you can, uh, on your skin, because it's a screen, right? Yes. It is also emitting light. That light can cause damage to the skin. One, right? Second, you're also, when you're, uh, you know, watching the screen, you're straining your eyes when you're doing it continuously over a few hours. Third, then you're also the posture of your uh, body that is changed because, you know, you're yes. always bending down or, you know, keeping your spine in a specific angle to view the screen. So that again disturbs your postures and then you can have early pains and aches mm -hmm. in the body, right? Uh, so these are the, uh, a few side effects that I can, you know, tell you. Yes. So, if you talk about beauty and skin care, is face wash better or soap better? <laughs> Definitely, a face wash is better because it is meant for cleansing your face. The pH of the product is much similar to the skin pH. Uh, soaps have more harsher chemicals as compared to face washes. Plus, face washes are combined with certain uh, ingredients that can help yeah. different skin types in different uh, solving different issues. Okay. So, body ki kuda body wash better soap better and the total body beauty. And <laughs> See, even soaps now, there are soaps called scented bars that can be used to okay. use as a uh, as a body wash. So, uh, you can use a body wash, you can use a scented bar, either is okay to use, not an issue. Very good. Super. For, uh, finally, mana skin ni manam chala beauty ka chupit chali ante skin care lo routine edi ante en chaptar. See, uh, whenever I am suggesting somebody a skincare routine, I say three most important things that you should do is cleansing, moisturizing and sun protection. Yes. These are the most integral part of any skincare routine. Having said that, if you have skin issues, you could be having pigmentation, acne, aging signs, dry skin. If you have these conditions, then you should also add products that are helping you 
combat these issues so for anti aging you can use products that are uh, you know based or retinol based products for acne you can use pro products that have salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide for dry skin use products that have ceramides and hyaluronic acid pigmentation you can use products that have glycolic acid kojic acid arbutin etc right so definitely keep a basic skin care routine which has a cleanser suitable for your skin type yes. always use a moisturizer whether you have oily skin or not okay. uh, or, or, like for all skin types moisturization is important and sun protection without any doubt you have to use the sun protection okay. Plus, add on a product that is suitable for your skin issue. Because uh, for oily skin, and hmm. separate for hmm. dry skin, separate. And right. Depend on the skin, skin type, type, maybe. Yes. Huh. So that's my question. Okay. So uh, depending on different skin types, there are different uh, sunscreens and moisturizers available. So if you have oily skin, then you must use products that are thin in their consistency. They are more more water based. Okay. They are not as creamy as thick or thick. Right. If you have dry skin, then use products that are more thicker, which give you uh, some hydration level, which also put a barrier on your skin and reduce the water loss from the epidermis. So different. These are the different types of products that you can use. More water based and thin consistency mm. for oily skin. Thick based products, lotions and creams for dry skin. Every day, how many times? And any sarlu a moisturizer apply chayari. Moisturizer depending on your skin's need. Mm. Right. So uh, whenever we are recommending uh, any skincare routine, so nighttime application of moisturizer is a must. Okay. You must apply because that is the time when the skin is resting mm. and also repairing itself. So a moisturizer will help in that. Apart from that, if a person has drier skin type, then they must use it during the day also. So uh, say once or twice daily is good mm. enough. So Miligaru anti-aging treatment low botox sanedi or help chest today. So, and the allowance in the treatment first. So, basically, Botox is a uh, is a type of a toxin which, when injected, it binds to the muscle okay. receptors that are present on the muscle, and it helps the muscle not contract. So, whenever we are making an expression, like when we are smiling, when we are frowning, or we are raising our eyebrows, then there are certain lines that appear, right? So what the Botox does is it goes and binds to those receptors and prevents that muscle action. Hmm. So once that uh, is injected into the muscle, whenever we make an expression, those lines will not be visible, right? Yes. So like when you're smiling, right, there are a lot of lines yes. that come here. When we do Botox, you still be able to smile. You will have a natural expression. Just the lines won't be visible. So this is where the Botox come in, uh, comes into picture. Right. Okay. Typically, a Botox treatment it's the most simplest treatment that one can get done. It has a quick uh, result, mm. and it lasts you anywhere between three to four months. Okay, three to okay? four months. So typically, uh, uh, once every, uh, twice every year, you can do a Botox treatment, mm. and you can maintain your uh, skin. Okay, time treatment ki end the time part. Treatment, like I said, it is a it's a lunch uh, uh, lunch time procedure. Okay. Right. So you have a lunch break, you come to the clinic, oh. get the procedure done and you can go back do your normal daily activities. Okay. There is uh, no downtime, there is uh, no uh, side effect as such and uh, you can uh, your normal daily activities will not be disrupted when you do a Botox. Okay. Mildly uh, uncomfortable, okay. uh, we apply a numbing cream before we do the procedure so it becomes fairly easy. Any side effects because eyes ki deggara kaabatti, emana side effects It is done, uh, you always must get the procedure done from a person who is well trained and experienced right. in doing it. That's the important thing. So if somebody knows how to do it, the chances of any side effects are next to zero. Yeah. Okay, the only thing that can happen is you may have a injection uh, site pain for a uh, few hours. At the site of injection, there's a small mosquito bite like swelling okay. that goes away in half an hour's time. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, to see the results of the treatment, it takes around 7 to 10 days hmm. where you will slowly and gradually see that the lines are slowly and uh, slowly not coming uh, whenever you make an expression. So only and the Epudena Sare Madam Edenoka Manchi treatment these call and certified doctor sticker ki valali and ship to naru over to parte valto change cut side effects like the that lo no doubt. So next to dermal fillers and the change covali and te me the girki epu ravali. So dermal fillers are uh, done for multiple uh, reasons. So they are okay. done for uh, you know uh, skin contouring. They are done for enhancing your one's features. They are done to repair certain defects in the eye, on the face. So, like, if you have very thin lips, 
if you do a dermal filler you can yeah. reshape the lips you can give them volume you can make them look more plumpy and hydrated yeah. okay it's not a permanent treatment uh, once you do it uh, it will last you for around say one one to one and a half years mm -hmm. and later on if you want to repeat it you repeat it okay, okay? similarly if somebody has a uh, you know a very deep set eyes or dark circles or under eye hollow we can do a dermal filler and that defect can be corrected so you look much more fresh and you look more happier right think people who have sagging skin they have you know uh, their chin is smaller the there can be nose reshaping that can be done you know some people uh, have also have hollowness on their temples all these defects can be treated with dermal fillers dermal fillers uh, depending on the type of the place that we have to inject the type of filler is decided depending on softer filler or something that's more harder which will like on the chin we do slightly harder fillers which have a higher g prime mm -hmm. so that it gives a proper shape to the chin so these are dermal filler fillers the result that you see it's instant once we do the injection the result is visible okay immediately and the result will last you for up to maximum up to a year to one and a half years okay treatment timing it depends on the number of injections we are doing using okay. because it comes in syringes right so how many ml we are injecting so half an hour to one hour is the duration of the treatment so sittings and any sittings something in this usually sittings are not there why okay. because uh, suppose i want to do a lip filler so i do it once okay. right once it is done you are good to go and if you want to repeat it then you come whenever you want to repeat it okay. so it's a single session treatment so next skin tightening andar ki chala interesting subject ka but the skin tight tightening ane treatment ela untundi a time lo mee degarki raavali Okay, so skin tightening procedures are one of the best uh, anti-aging procedures one could do because they not just do corrective uh, treatment, they also do preventive management, right? So uh, multiple treatments like, you know, radio frequency devices like Forma, uh, Thermage, there is HIFU, there is Al Therapy, uh, there are also uh, treatments like microneedling. Uh, these treatments are done to improve your uh, skin uh, visibility and also lift your skin. right so the fine lines improve there are, if there are folds on the skin they improve there is a lift little bit of lifting of the cheeks that happens if you have you know uh, people have mm -hmm. jowls yeah. which are you know skin folds that appear just uh, next to the chin area so we can improve that so these treatments they are mostly uh, non invasive treatments mm -hmm. there are also invasive treatments available but non invasive treatments are fairly good they are not as painful they can is the most of the treatments can be done in uh, uh, in one sitting only okay. and they give you a result that can last you up to a year aging prevention treatment aging prevention treatments are treatments that are done so that uh, you know the signs of aging are not as prominent okay right so the lines are less visible sagging does not happen and skin looks more hydrated and plump treatments under this category would be skin boosters which are hyaluronic acid injections which are when once injected into the skin they make your skin look more uh, fresh mm. and younger mm. then there are treatments like uh, exosomes which are stem cell therapies and their growth factors that are injected on in the skin and they do collagen remodeling then there are treatments like microneedling uh, uh, example would be morpheus that can help in fine lines acne scars skin tightening these treatments are preventive treatments so if you keep doing it on a regular basis the visible signs of aging will not be as apparent and the aging process will slow down so treatment anta ayipoyin tarata danni maintain cheskonam chaala important yes definitely maintenance is very important so once you uh, kind of achieved your uh, anti aging goal you and you want to maintain it you must on a regular basis depending on what you are comfortable with what uh, discussion you have with your doctor mm. you should do certain maintenance treatments maintenance treatments would include gfc mesotherapies uh, skin boosters these are few treatments that you can do as maintenance at a regular interval so that whatever result you've achieved is stays for a longer period of time right. super so chusar kadandi mili garu ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ గురించి చాలా బాగా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు ఎవరైనా సరే అండి ఇంట్రెస్ట్ గా ఉంటే మాత్రం కింద స్కోల్ అవుతున్న నెంబర్ కి కాంటాక్ట్ అవ్వండి ఇక్కడ ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకోండి లా క్లినిక్ లో బెస్ట్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఉంటుంది ఎవరు మిస్ అవ్వకండి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ